Hey everyone, welcome back to BMW Fanatic. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about the top five things that are going to fail on your BMW N54. Now, this is in no apparent order, but I wanted to make sure to stress these items just because some of them do have TSB, like service recalls, out there for them. Others do not. You're going to need to have the cash on hand to replace these other things because it's definitely going to happen. Now, first on the list is the wastegates. So the wastegates control your boost on your turbocharger. The wastegate is attached to the turbocharger. So for the N54, you have two of them. It's a twin turbocharged and line six. Now those wastegates have a TSB recall of eight years or 82,000 miles. Now, fortunately, pretty much everyone is outside of that range, but have not fear. I am at 156,000 miles, still on my original turbochargers right here. No wastegate rattle boost correctly if you want to make sure that your wastegates are still up to par and are still you know boosting the way they need to do i'm going to post a few videos up here at the top this checks like the 30 ff code like your low boost and a lot of other checks uh, to rule out there are other few tricks of the trade that you can determine if you have wastegate rattle start your engine up whatever wastegate you feel is rattling whether it be the rear one or the front one follow that vacuum line to the vacuum canister take off that vacuum line off the top of the vacuum canister and then therefore start turn off your car and then start it back again if you do not have any wastegate rattle why it's idling there then you know that your wastegates are failing so that's another little trick of the trade uh, to do that right there uh, but like I said, that eight year, 82,000 mile, majority of the N54s are already out of that range to begin with because it's eight years or 82,000 miles, unfortunately. But there's plenty of good upgrades out there to do. If you want to go back to stock, you know, you could do that as well. Whichever be the case, make sure and determine that it's a wastegate true failure before you go and replace them. Next up is injectors. Injectors fail all the time on the BMW N54. TSB was from 2006 to 2009. Your car would already have been in there to already have checked. However, there is a possibility and I would never rule out you to take it in if you have never seen it done on your car or there's no documentation whatsoever. You never know. Every dealer is different. I've seen other viewers take their car in depending on uh, BMW would scan each injector. If they determine if that failed injector is still good and still working, then they will pass that and then put it back in your car. They'll only replace it if it comes back scanned on their end that it is at fault. Uh, not to worry, I do have a BMW N54 injector DIY. So you guys, if you are outside of that or the dealer already told you, nope, it's already done, we can't do nothing for you. Check out that DIY at the top so that way uh, you can get your injectors and you can install them yourself to save you the money. Now, if you have a 2010 N54, BMW extended that recall to 10 years or 120,000 miles for 2010 miles. So you 2010 guys out there, you're definitely going to be in luck because that's going to be right in that range. Still good right now if it hasn't been in, if it hasn't been in yet. If you have a 2010 and it's never been checked, get into the dealership, even if you're not having really any faults right now, so they can check that, and you might get some new Index 12 injectors. So your high pressure fuel pump. Now there are ways to log that, so that way you can determine if your high pressure fuel pump is uh, failing. Now they do have the recall of 10 years or 120,000 miles, uh, whichever comes first, of course, but logging with the MHD or JB4 can determine as far as your high pressure fuel pump pressure goes. If it's five at idle, then you're good. If it is around like not nine to 12 on full throttle, give or take that range, then it's also good. If it's anything outside of those ranges, like below five at idle or at five at full throttle, then you know you have a high pressure fuel pump issue. It's right underneath the intake manifold. Take out the intake manifold, you can get right to the high pressure fuel pump. But if it's never been checked, it's never been done, and you're still within that range as far as mileage and time goes, definitely call your local BMW dealerships, you can get in, and make sure it's checked out again. The worst that can happen is they can come, they can check your car, say everything is good, and you can be off and running. Now, FYI, you may get charged a diagnostic fee of like $129, just wanna put it out there. So maybe negotiate that with your dealership, ask them ahead of time. Uh, if you don't have any codes yet, your local dealership on what charges they're going to charge you just to look at it for the recall. All of them are different. Next up that happens all too often is a water pump. The water pump usually fails around the 70,000 mile mark. 
I'm personally on my third water pump at 156,000 miles. My second one lasted only 26,000 miles before it cracked. On the N54s, it has that plastic housing, so they get hot, they try to push all that coolant through. You have the outside temperature, it doesn't help as well if it's in the hot summer. You know, it, they fail all too often, always having issues. So if you're at that 70,000 mile mark, right, and it's never been changed, good preventative maintenance, go ahead and change it out just so you don't get stranded on the road or anything else like that. Or have the cash on hand if you need to make sure to buy it ahead of time so then when it does fail, you can get towed back home and then you can do the DIY on that as well. And last up is your stock charge pipe. Now, the reason why the stock charge pipe is on here is that they can still break under stock boost. And if that charge pipe breaks and you're out somewhere else, you're not gonna have any boost pressure, therefore it's gonna be troublesome when you're trying to drive home. Now I was running 17, 18 pounds on the stock charge pipe. Definitely changed it there when I was doing my E85 mixes. So of course I later upgraded to the CPE charge pipe with forged motorsport diverter valves, 15 to 23 PSI internal springs. I've been on that setup for three and a half years now or even longer. I did the stock charge pipe for just a little bit. So, you know, those fail all too often, like I said, with stock boost and they are definitely chancing it if you have uh, you know, a tune or anything else like that. Highly recommend it, right? It's a lot bigger than the stock plastic charge pipe, especially you get the long version that goes all the way to the front intercooler piping. Uh, you get rid of the accordion hose and all that kind of stuff. So it's definitely a great upgrade as far as performance wise and reliability uh, for when you start doing it. It's one of those mini mods that you wanna make sure to do. Well, everyone, there's the top five BMW N54 parts that will fail on your car. And I already have proven that they fail on the BMW N54. Like I mentioned, check everything out. Make sure you have everything done. If it hasn't already been checked by BMW, check your codes using a proper scan tool. If you have MHD or JB4, use your data logging, data log your car. You'll be able to definitely tell if your fuel pumps are going bad, your high pressure fuel pumps going bad. Uh, you know, in tandem. So when, then when you're doing the high pressure fuel pump, double check the low pressure fuel pump uh, readings just to see that. They have some failures with that as well, but it's not so much as like how the high pressure fuel pump is going. Of course, with anything else, if you have any questions, just let me know. I wanna make sure that I pass that along to you guys so that way you're aware of these, so you, you check your car or if you're into buying one, uh, so that way you are all good to go. Well, thanks everyone for stopping in. And as always, please be sure to subscribe, like this video, comment below, check out my other videos on my channel. And of course, the other videos that I plugged in for this video. So that way, if you need to do the DIY on any of those pieces, especially the injectors, because that can be an expensive one. Thanks again. Take care.